Okay, elves, this is step two. So once you've done your down and up stitches around the whole outside of your pieces of leather, and you've trimmed any leather on the top that needed to be trimmed, I made a different video on that. So don't just go cutting things. Watch the video first so you know what to cut. Sometimes you don't even need to cut anything, which is the goal, but it is helpful sometimes to cut a little bit down on the top. So once you've done that, and once you've sewn all the way up to the very last stitch, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to flip it over. So the side your, your thread's coming out of is facing up. And then here's the important part. You're gonna pull the thread up and over the top part of the pouch. Okie dokie, so once you've pulled this thread up and over the top of your pouch, you're gonna flip the pouch over. See, you got went up and over. Now, you're gonna find the last hole that you went through on the way up. See, you're gonna find where the next piece of thread is. And you're gonna, you're gonna go through that hole again. You've already gone through that hole once on the way up. Now you're gonna go through the same hole again. There you go, and it'll come out the back side. You're gonna pull your thread through. Perfect, so I'm gonna show you what you want it to look like. What you want is on the very top, you want to have a little piece of thread that goes up and over the top. Now you're gonna sew back through the pouch, all the way down, all the way around, and back up. And you're gonna sew between the stitches you already did. So once you're done, all of this should be covered in thread and there should be no red parts. There should be no leather peeking out of this line of stitches. So you're gonna go to where your last stitch was. You're gonna find the hole. You're gonna push through. And when you pull through, it's gonna cover this red part up, which is what we're trying to do. And it'll make the stitches stronger because they'll be two stitches instead of just one. Okay, you're gonna flip it over again. And you're gonna find the next hole. Poke your needle through, just like you did on the way coming up. You can do exactly the same thing on the way going back. One more time. You can go over this blank part. You can go over the blank part where the leather is. You're gonna find your next hole. You're gonna poke your needle through, and pull it out the other side. You're going to do that exact same process the whole way back around all the way until you get here to where you started. Okay, see how the part I've already gone back through has a complete line of stitches with no gaps in it? That's what you're looking for. So as you keep going around, you should keep covering up gaps. So once you've made it back to where you started, where your little tail is, you're going to keep going and you're actually going to do an up and around just like you did on this side. So you're going to go down through where your tail is, pull out the back, and then flip your pouch over, find the next hole.
<laughs> once you've found your hole, you're going to go down through the hole. And then you're going to pull out the back. Okay, this is a common problem. See how my thread got wrapped around my pouch? That just means it got wrapped around while I was doing my stitch and it's super easy to fix. So you're just gonna push your pouch through the hole in the thread and voila, your thread's back where it's supposed to be. You're gonna finish pulling down. Now that your thread is back where you started, you're gonna watch, you're gonna go watch the next video. So watch video three and that'll show you how to finish up your pouch and tie it off.